does. Yes, stop moaning at me. <laughs> oh, sorry, body fire crew. <laughs> Just having a bit of nonsense from one of my guests. A very special guest, I'm going to say. It is the... I keep giving you really good introduction stuff. I'm just going to go Chloe Madeley today. Oh, oh. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, light your leggings, though. Thanks, so, thanks. Win some, you lose some. Um, right, we're talking about women's fitness mm -hmm. and all sorts of fitness things. Now, I want to talk about the media and fitness because I know that this is a passionate subject of you, for you and that basically you've got a little bit of an issue the way that women's fitness is portrayed um, the way they write about you mm -hmm. in the media. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. I just, I honestly, I feel for women, including myself, I feel like we can't win. You know, either we're too fat, or we're too thin, or we're too muscly, or some idiot who doesn't know anything about diet or exercise is telling us what we have to buy and what we have to do, and the media are getting paid by a company to promote a fat reduction cream, so that's what they pimp out. And it's just, it gets to the point where it's just like, oh my lord, like we, we literally cannot win. And, and for me personally, like I get a lot, when I'm really in shape, um, I get a lot of flack for, I don't know, looking masculine, looking like, I don't know, because I have muscle and, and people you know can see it and I, and I train. Um, and I get a lot of flack for showing off the, the results of my body and the progression of it. Um, it's not a sexual thing at all. Fair enough, some people see it that way, but you could see everything in a sexual light. Um, it's very much a woman taking control of her body, training, and showing progression, and um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not skinny, and I wouldn't knock anyone if that's what they wanted to do, and they wanted to you know, do hours and hours of cardio a day, fair enough. And I'm also you know, not overweight, because I like to feel very active and, and and that's how I like to feel, and I like to feel strong. So I have muscle, and that's my that's my area. Um, and no matter what area I chose, out of all of the above, I would have to get flack for it. Um, so it's just extremely annoying, and I think people need to understand it. If it makes you happy and it makes you feel good in terms of your body image, then you're not hurting anyone else. Do it. I completely agree. I think we always say at um, at Body Fire that if you uh, you know whatever size you are, if you're happy and you're healthy, then do whatever you want to do. I, I would really be adamant that I think uh, strong uh, and musty is the new skinny, is the new sexy, mm -hmm. I think. Um, I think people, you know, like you said, women taking charge of their body, looking after themselves and getting into shape um, is a lot easier than perhaps it was um, perceived to be in Absolutely, the past. Yeah. Um, but also I remember, for example, the other day I was talking to you about something and you, you'd put a picture up of yourself, love a selfie with your shirt off. Well, not a shirt off, sorry, that would be really inappropriate. Love a selfie showing off the results. Yeah. Only reason I got in shape was so I could take photos of my top off. I think there's more photos of <laughs> my top off than with my top on. Why not? Why not? Sun's out, guns out. No sun, still get guns out. Um, no, I get flack for it. I mean, I, I took a half naked selfie. I say half naked. I mean, it is really half naked, but that again has sexual connotations and it's not a sexual thing. I took a photo of me in a sports bra and sports pants and um, it was in a tabloid uh, a few weeks later um, saying that my selfies. Um, and others, but mainly mine, were encouraging young girls to have eating disorders. Which really, really offends me because I spend, if you go on my website or you read any articles that I write or interviews that I do, I'm constantly saying that, look, you can have a high calorie intake and you can eat a lot more than you think you can eat if you're training properly. Train properly, you know, you don't have to be dying on the treadmill, you don't have to be on the Atkins diet, which is the what one of the most unhealthy diets there he is. He died, there. didn't he, Atkins as well? <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> eat my food. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly, like it doesn't have to work like that. What about that. souping? I'm talking, just talking about these things, I hate this as well, this is a real bugbear of mine. Okay, just that shitty souping diet thing where you just yeah. drink soup. Yeah. Your body's not stupid, you're starving it. The yeah. the um, lemon juice detox yeah. thing. The maple syrup, the clay, like I mean... and, and the, the Clay up your bottom, how's that helping anybody? Just eat your vegetables, eat protein and carbs when you need it. Like I don't... Exactly, it's very, very simple and, and I think people, people overcomplicate it. Look, if you want to lose weight, eat well, like eat protein, eat vegetables, eat carbohydrates, especially if you're training, um, but do it in a clean way. So don't do the pasta, the pizza, do like oats and potato and you know, be clean with it and move your body and you will lose weight. Um, body transformation is a bit more complicated, you know, and thank God it is because that's where I get paid and I have a job because of it. Um, but I mean, really most people just want to look look good naked and if you, if you do the very simple things, you will. So the big thing I find as well that what people forget is that you read about, especially in certain newspapers, and I'm slagging off in case they start attacking me, but 
there's always a weekly thing about how so-and-so lost this weight and it's always on some obscure diet using some obscure product uh -huh. when when I can't get it around my head that actually there are people out there who put the information like you present the information in a really good way for people you understand people you take into account personalization for it yeah but essentially eating clean and training is not rocket science no exactly to, to get to a certain level you know like anyone at home can start training any woman out there can start today looking after themselves and eating properly and will get results and she doesn't need to drop money uh, you know if she wants to take it further and get into like a transformation mm -hmm. someone like yourself some absolutely. other professionals out there are available yeah absolutely i mean it's really interesting when you read interviews with these these uh, people in the public eye who are obviously getting paid to push a product um and I know because I've turned down so many of these gigs, you know, to get money to basically hit up every single publication that's on a stand and say, I use this and it's amazing. A fat reduction cream is not going to reduce your fat. A, a fat burner is not going to burn your fat. You need to look at the products and how they're going to benefit you and if they can benefit you. Um, you know, it's, it's very tricky um, and it's a, it's a money making business and there are a lot of people out there who are just trying to get your money. James is completely right. All you've got to do is watch what you eat, move your body, you will get results. Body transformation, go to a personal trainer, you know, figure it out, you know, talk to somebody who, who knows, who studied it, um, and you can do it. But yeah, celebrity fitness advice is a bit of a pet peeve. Well, well Chloe, I cleanse you of all your uh, angst against the media. We've taken it out of you. Thank you so much for sharing your, your information with us. Um, if you enjoyed that video, then you need to comment, you need to subscribe. Chloe will answer your questions, I will answer your questions. We do very special videos on Bodyfire TV covering all your questions and answers. Instead of trying to write back to you individually, sometimes the same question gets asked a million times, so we'll cover that off. Rate this video, what do I do? Rate yourself. Exactly. <laughs> um, share this, we will be back soon. So much more information. I love you, Chloe loves you. We're back soon. Sorry, you want to be an ice cream lady? <laughs> I've just not registered. What the hell? I wanted my own ice cream truck, play my own songs and eat ice cream.